welterweight clash between Samuel Eriksson and Alexandra Budapest. Hey everybody, Boss Rudin here. Karate Combat 40 is coming up June 24th in Miami, Florida. In the main event, we have a welterweight championship on our hands between our champion Joshua Quayhagen and between the guy who's considered by many the GOAT of karate, Rafael Agaya. But wait, there's more. We have another fantastic fight between Samuel Erickson and Alexandra Budobain. And what do you know? Today, I am joined by these two fine gentlemen. Now, let's start first with Samuel because I heard Alexandra challenged you, and I know that you were preparing for a boxing match for the boxing misfits uh, that got delayed, but how do you react to that? What, what, what do you think when somebody challenges you specifically? To be honest, I have uh, many fighters from Karate Combat has challenged me um, since I first did my fight with uh, Alberto in Karate Combat, which were, I think, maybe the start of my journey in Karate Combat, because before uh, as you remember, I was working with Karate Combat, but since I officially signed and fought the first fight, there are many people, many fighters from Karate Combat that are reaching out and want to fight. When I looked in my DMs, actually, I was sliding in my own DMs, and uh, I remembered that Buderbane was challenging me one year ago, just before my Tarek fight, and I was like, let's do that one. You don't take anything personal? Is this nothing personal for you? It's not personal. Um, Tarek had a little bit different approach since he mentioned, you know, uh, he, he lied about me backing out and he also mentioned my grandmother that, that passed away. But uh, in this case, I don't take it personal. I didn't take it that personal with Tarek either, but it was just, you know, for me, it's personal because I need to really pause everything else I'm doing. So it's personal in a sense that I, since I'm not fighting, only as a career it really needs to be the right fit in, in in the right moment and i need to have the right motivation and all of that stuff so but it's more personal for me not personal as i'm i'm not you know intimidated by by the challenge i like it good and, and alexandra why why would you go after samuel erickson <laughs> To begin, I told Samuel that I was very happy that he rejoined Karate Combat so that we can fight. I challenged him to fight, but in a friendly way. We're not in the same category to fight each other, so nothing official, not anything official. What I meant was one day to train and to fight together, but I think Samuel took that personally and was a bit pissed off after that. He asked, you want to fight me? I said, of course, but once again, in that friendly way. But it was taken personally, so I entered the game. Samuel is such an example in martial arts social media, and it's a great challenge that he accepted. It's a very big challenge that he accepted to fight with me. I'm very happy because I want to also fight him. We have similar styles. Uh, we didn't see much of him in his two fights. What I mean is we don't see much of his karate, martial arts, or what he does. So I think it'll be a great fight for both of us to see each other's styles. Okay, and uh, Samuel, like uh, we talked about it, you're preparing for a boxing match. Is this something we're going to see now in this fight? Are you going to put the legs on the back burner and you're going to use more hands? Actually, boss, uh, when you mention it, I heard Buderbane was actually talking about he wanted to box me just to show that my boxing wasn't good enough um, because I've been training boxing. So he wanted to kind of show me that his boxing is better. So he, I heard something about he wanted to, like the first round, he was only going to throw hands to kind of prove that my boxing wasn't as good as his. So... Uh, yeah, if that's something he wants to do, if he wants to go the first round with majority punching and boxing, you know, we can do that. And uh, hopefully I will show something of the things that I've learned during my fight camp for Misfits. But I don't really think he means that. But uh, maybe you can ask him if he really means that. Yes, Alexander, I, do you believe that you are a better boxer than Samuel? Yes. Um, I think my strength is karate, my, my kicking in particular. Kick. Boxing and striking, it's, it's not my background. My favorite technique, 
Kek Mawashi Gere, uh, Ushiro Mawashi Gere, Ura Mawashi. But Samuel... Um, We know Samuel had a boxing fight, fight fallout. Uh, on boxing. And I, I, I try, I training uh, more boxing. Would Alexandra be interested in the first round to make it a boxing round? Sure, yes. I want. Of course, I yes. Want I want that. Yeah, you want to comment, uh, Samuel? Yeah, I mean, I thought he would back out of that, you know, that statement. But uh, if he wants to throw hands, we can do that. I like that. I think it's going to be great. I think yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun. And Alexandra, why do you believe you're going to win this fight? In what areas of the fighting game are you better than Samuel? I don't know, because in Samuel's last fights, there was not a lot of action. I couldn't tell what he's got. I can't figure out how he fights because he hasn't done much in his past fights. Maybe it's because he was better than his opponents to go the distance in his fights. So I can't pinpoint what he's got because of that. I have no clue what will happen. I don't know. That's why in his fight, in his fight versus me, it will go longer. We can see more of what he's got. Okay, Samuel, you heard it. So apparently you don't do a lot, not a lot of action. Uh, what do you believe are your biggest powers and what are his weaknesses that you can use against him? Yeah. Um, you know, I just want to say that I actually can agree at some level at what uh, on what he's saying, you know, not a lot of action. I am a kind of a... I want more action in my fights, but... Uh, Since the two people I've been fighting so far, Alberto and Tarek, they have a very similar style, like this very traditional karate style. They don't want to engage. They want to kind of like wait for the counter, just throw straight punches or one kick. And they like Tarek threw a lot of kicks, but he had, he was so much taller than me, right? So he could get away with throwing multiple kicks because I really had to stay away. So since he's saying he thinks it's not enough action in my fights, I really hope that this fight will be one of these fights. Like we mentioned before, if he wants to box me in the first round, like he said on social media, we can do that. And that will eliminate any like risk of getting a non-action fight right because then we need to stay close we need to put pressure on each other we need to stay in the pocket at times um so i really hope that this fight could get like non-stop action for one two three rounds how long we you know so long we need but i think i am faster than him um in terms of i i'm more explosive And I think that will be a problem for him when it comes to uh, standing face to face, because I don't think he has been fighting anyone as explosive as me. He's been fighting great dudes, great fighters. I'm not taking anything away from them, but I've seen him struggle with some of his opponents. And in my opinion, I'm more explosive than them. So, because he has always been quite explosive if you compare him to his opponents. But I think this time I will be the, the one with more explosive kicks, more explosive punches. So I think that will be my advantage. I think it would be a really great fight if you guys would choose to do hands with knees. Can you imagine that? I'm, I'm just spitballing here right <laughs> just punching and throwing knees as you know in karate combat we cannot grab your opponent when you throw knees you have to throw them like kicks you know but i think that could be a very interesting match because knees of course keep you very close by as the same as with boxing is that something uh you'll be open to both of you let's start with alexandra i think for karate combat it's it's a good idea because the new new Uh, I think for karate combat, it could be a good idea with uh, the new rules. But for me, in, in my birth, um, I, I want first one just punch boxing. Hmm. Samuel, um, you make Taekwondo, the, ba baz, the best sport martial. It's a Taekwondo. Yep. Yes. yes. 
Yes. So second round. So just second round just kicks just because of that. I think that's a good idea. And to remind you, my nickname is The Flash. Are you more explosive, Samuel? I don't know, but I am The Flash, and my kicks are like lightning. So that's why in the third round, I wanted to be all of our techniques mixed together. Okay. Samuel? <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, it feels like we're doing... a. Uh, like, uh, you know, some kind of shady tournament over here where you just fight each other on set rules. But uh, <laughs> um, regarding what you said about punches and knees, I mean, like you said, I think you said again that he wanted the punches in the first round. So I think it feels like he's really got stuck on that one, right? So one thing I can say, if he wants to punch, meet in the middle of the pit for the first round, I'm all up for that. And then, you know, as the fight goes on, second, third round, um, if he want to show me some kicks and live up to his name, sure, that's good for him. That's good for his trademark. I, I've seen his kicks. He has good kicks. Um, he's very flexible. He has good control, good distance with his kicks. Um, but all I can say here is uh, he sounds very, yeah, for the first round, if he wants to throw hands, that we can do. Uh, then I guess let's see what happens. But but are you okay with the second round doing only kicks? Then if he does the first round only hands, then the second round only kicks, and the third round you guys do anything if it goes to a third. I mean, if I see that he starts to throw only kicks in the second round for the first thirty seconds, well, I might join that. I don't know. Okay. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, I also need to stay prepared, right? He might just sit here and say whatever, and then, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, uh, and, and that goes for the first round too, with the boxing, obviously, maybe he say, yeah, let's go box. And then he throws an, you know, front kick in my head. But, uh, that was, that is like the only thing I feel that I could agree on, like before the fight that if I can go in with that mentality that. If he wants to throw hands to show his boxing is superior to mine, like he said on social media, I'm all open for that. Let's do that. But, you know, then it's, I think it's hard also to kind of punch his kicks and it's all, all rules. That also, that means that the fight must go to the second round, to the third round. Yep. So that is also one thing you can really predict or, or, or agree on, right? But True. like I said, I repeat myself. If he wants to box first round, let's fucking do it. I don't play um, um, poker. <laughs> I just play poker. Uh, no, the no. reflex, uh, the reflex, before you des choses. Sometimes you have impulse reflexes. Yeah. The automatic. Uh, auto With hits, uh, and you can't help it. So I don't know. know. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So, question for both of you. Um, how are you going to win this fight? In what round? With what technique? What would be preferred? If you have a dream knockout, what would it be for you? So uh, give me a prediction. Let's start with Samuel. Oh, Mystic Sam. <laughs> um, you know, this one is a hard one. But uh, I think that I will, might be, I think... This one could be a TKO for me, another technical knockout, actually. I think I could this time actually land an overhand, the same one I, I landed on Tarek. But this time, I think it will land cleaner. So the ground and pound, the, the referee will, will stop the ground and pound. Because last time, we all know the five second rule, but if I had three to five more seconds in that first round in that when I had him in the corner, I think uh, that would be a technical knockout already. So I can see a second round finish by ground and pound. <laughs> so he's laughing a bit. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Why not? 
pour ce combat, sincèrement, j'aimerais bien que le combat soit difficile pour tous les deux. Why not? Que, I want this fight to be difficult for both of us. Excité, tout le monde crie, et qu'à la fin, mais sur les dix dernières secondes, je mets un chaos, peu importe comment. I want the crowd cheering and excited, and then in the last second of the third, a kick to the head, a clean one, a nice clean karate kick, and down he goes. Sur les dernières secondes du troisième round, ça, ça serait magnifique. Very nice. All right, yeah. guys. Well, I think we came to our end. Um, for the people at home, please watch Karate Combat June 24th. That's in two weekends in Miami, Florida. This is going to be a battle of the influencers. Let's see who's going to get the most followers. From what I understand, Bodebain has the most followers on TikTok. But then again, Samuel has the most followers on uh, Instagram. Who's follower list is going to grow we're going to find out and you just make sure that you follow karate combat go to karate.com make sure that you also have the karate app and start working with the karate tokens this is also very important because then the fighters can make more money you can more, make more money and you can actually not lose so really look into that karate.com is the way to go to also see and find out how you can watch karate combat 40 godspeed everybody thank you very much for joining and we'll thank you so much Russ. thank you Thank you, Bas. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Samuel. Thank, Thank you, guys. Godspeed. Thanks for watching. I'm Leila. And if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.